into being N-dubs in America and beyond. The show that gives you intimate access to one of the UK's biggest urban pop acts. Wow. With the help of some snazzy headgear and self-shot footage, Woo! you'll get an exclusive insight into one of Britain's most controversial bands. Sleep, eat, wake up, studio, try and find a three and a half minutes of magic. The band's manager, Jonathan Shallot, has sent them out to America to work with some top producers who will help them write and record songs for the difficult US market. I don't want a hundred that I want to, because it's only jump that you start building up. This is such an important moment in the lives of Daffy, Talisa and Fazer. Here they are in Hollywood, the entertainment capital of the world. Yes, everything is possible here, but failure is also possible. It's very simple. Dappy, Talisa and Faser need to now write the greatest song of their lives. Today, the band are off to another studio session and everyone is in high spirits. Oh my God! My eyelashes are falling out, oh my God! Oh. Big up to the hoes that, that drew their eyebrows on their face. Hey. <laughs> to them and you know your name, man. Ah. As they arrive at the studio, high spirits have descended into utter chaos. Hey, Teresa, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Can you just chill the fuck out, innit? Oh. Just, just chill the what, fuck out, innit? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. What the fuck, innit? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, Taser man, why would you do that for us? Ah! Bum. Taser T, T's got a ring as well. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Anyway, time for work. Why would you do that? Coming in my space. Today, N-Dubs will be writing with LA-based British producer Wayne Wilkins, who's worked with the likes of Cheryl Cole and Beyonce. M-Dubs have a very universal sound. They're one of the bands, actually, that could work more easily in the US because their music's already got that kind of urban flavour in it. We feel, as we're getting older and whatnot, we might as well come with people like yourselves and try and bring out something more new and unique and distinctive. That would just go boom. Unlike many other pop acts, N-Dubs are very hands-on when it comes to writing and producing their music. It's good as long as, like, the hooks are kind of like... Yeah, of course, like, yeah, don't worry. Dappy really sort of wants to make sure this, every session counts so we can sort of go back to Def Jam and say, look, look what we can do. And it doesn't take Wayne and the band very long to nail a catchy melody. <laughs> the actual notes have still got that kind of bounce to it. Yeah. So at no point does the rhythm go triplet and then straight. Yeah, okay. So it'll make it more memorable, I think. <laughs> straight down to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go there, go there, go there, go there. <laughs> right, the first bit is going. I like the first bit, it's this. Um, if the way goes to end right now, I'll be Tuesday's time. I don't know. Writing the lyrics is proving to be a little bit trickier. There's me in the dark, ripping my heart song. All right back to the start, because I'm a heart. Um, heart, start. Together we'll fight. Oh dear. <laughs> Once that lyric comes, you know that melody is just going to sit like exactly. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. We're struggling because we haven't got words. Yeah. The hard-working band carry on into the evening, but the long hours don't dampen Dappy's desire for that three and a half minutes of magic. We've come here to try and make Endob stand out from all these other acts in America. Once we create that buzz here, there, all these fun... Then man come party! <laughs> man gonna have yeah? a good time, innit? Till then... Calm it down, innit, fam? They might be recording in LA, but in two months' time, N-Dubs will embark on their first ever UK arena tour, performing to tens of thousands of fans across the country. And manager Rich knows there's lots to sort out. 
No matter how much you plan you do, the last month before the tour is always living hell. So it's going to be mad pressure. I'm sure there'll be tears, arguments. I'm very aware it's going to be very difficult. Rich and their tour manager Tobias have called the band together to nail down some details. And it doesn't take long for the discussion to turn to tour bus politics. <laughs> hey, listen, on the bus, you and Talisa fucking keep clean. You don't hey, you you have it dirtier than a dustbin next to your bed. <laughs> no, 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 no. This Why guy's only clean, there? yeah, because his mum cleans there? for him, yeah. Oh, we <laughs> It's clean I've got a good discussion. No shagging dancers on the tour. <laughs> 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 on this tour, we have a separate bus for dancers and dancers. Whatever you want. I want my pink female bus t-shirts. As Talisa and Rich continue to talk tour, the boys are being, well, boys. Can we concentrate, please? I want, I want, I'm concentrating, I'm writing it down. So you see that. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. And things quickly go from bad <laughs> to worse. Yeah, where are you going? I'm in the middle of having a conversation. She's saying, she's saying, she's saying you can't the interrupt, and then because no one listens, you want to turn around and start Why friends. And so the girls can be wearing like the pink t shirt so yeah. and feel our boss, and then the hot pants, and then with like trainers. Cool, got it. Wicked. Cool. There you go. Wicked. Cool. Being with him just then and see what they're like in a small place for like half an hour, an hour. You're going to get to the rehearsals and then start moaning, going, no, I don't want to do this song. You can imagine that and then imagine them being on a tour bus for 30 days straight. The fireworks that go on on that are just fucking astronomical in comparison. <laughs> the meeting and bickering continues into the night. Dub's big boss Jonathan Shallot has joined the band in LA and today he'll get a sneak preview of the track they've written with producer Wayne Wilkins. I've been hearing from Rich and Max Goose that the sessions are going fantastic. I'm hearing there might be a smash record having been written in the last week. I don't know, I haven't heard it yet, but I'm very excited about a particular track that I'm told N Dub's have written. Dappy and Phaser are on their way to meet Jonathan at the studio. And as usual, they're showing him nothing but love. I know shallot has got his own... Helicopter. Not even that, his own little space pack or something, like... <laughs> like he's, segway. Just, <laughs> he's flying Segway or something, like, he just flies in the air, quickly gets to the destination, pretends he parked up his pedal bike. Have you seen him? He comes to work, <laughs> like, he's got a helmet on, but a suit, elbow pads and knee pads flung <laughs> over the suit. Big teddy bear in a suit on a pedal bike. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cameraman misses the shot of Jonathan on his flying Segway because that would have been amazing. Charlotte! Hello, sir. I hear you found a hit. No, we're, we're doing well. It's all right. We're, we're working. We're it's working. a work in progress. It's a work in progress. So five pounds after you're a hit. You can have a little exclusive. Get down with your bad self, Jonathan. As the beginning, the greatness. Wayne Wilson, nice to meet you. Pleasure. How are you? This is the producer of the record. I know. Here we go. Very distinguished, Wayne. Oh, thank you. Legend. I'm delighted that N Dubs and Wayne are collaborating. It's yeah, fantastic. Big combination. Crazy stuff. As I said before, if you're going to beat America and you're going to come to America and you're a British group, you've got to up your ante because you've got to be better than America in America because America have got great people already. So if they're going to buy a British group in America, you've got to say to the American kids, we're better than what you can get in America. Sorry, where are we again, Jonathan? Coming up, there are fireworks on a family day out. What do you mean by that? No one will go on a war, right? You don't want to go on the water ride? All right then, fuck you, Daffy. To Lisa in tarot reading shocker. You could be pregnant multiple times, four, five, six times. And Daffy gets deep. There's a lot of depressing moments in this shit. I can't lie to you, everyone thinks it's all fucking funny. It's not.
Welcome back to Being Endubs. We are following one of Britain's biggest urban acts as they embark on a three-week recording trip in America. We still need to find, I think, a club banger. The band have been slogging away non-stop in the studio, so have been given a well-earned day off. <laughs> Ducky, Ducky, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. We're going to Universal Studios and they've got Jurassic Park the ride. Let's do it. Let's go and do it. Do you see what I have to put up with? <laughs> it seems like Dap is not happy about the break from the studio. It's like fucking being in a band with the living dead. Why? Some palm trees. One, two, three, four! Hey! Hey! You're very excited! What race do you want to go on? Jurassic Park. I'm actually a proper Jurassic Park fan. I sound really corny right now, but I love it. Tulisa's looking forward to an adrenaline high, but Dappy isn't interested in anything except work. You can go on the Jurassic Park because we're going to get ponchos. Oh, bonnet. What do you mean bonnet? I don't want to go on the water ride. Right? You don't want to go on the water ride? All right, then, fuck you, Dappy. Dappy's throwing a bit of a strut today, as usual. He's in a bad mood and he's choosing to um, not cooperate. Oh, well, it's not my problem. I'm here to have a good time, mate. I can't bother doing him, just leave him. He's wasting my day. N-dubs may be unknown in America, but Tulisa is still drawing attention. I think oh, people think that I'm someone else. Who do they think you are? I don't know. Who do I, I look know, like? I don't think it's Jersey Shore. Who's watch Jersey Shore? One of the biggest TV shows out here. Uh, who do I look like in Jersey Shore? One of the girls, one of the young characters in it. What's her name? I don't know. Hmm, which one, Rich? Not sure Tulisa would be happy about any of them. Determined not to let Dappy's mood spoil her fun, Tulisa heads off with Rich, Fazer and the band's mate Z to try out the rides. Do me a favour, tighten my hat, because I can't see it. Not wanting to get wet, Tulisa is making sure she's well covered and opts to go against ride rules and keep her hat on. On your head be it, Tulisa. The only time I'll come to a place like here and enjoy myself is when we got a hit on radio. Going like a fucking banana blood. Right now, it's all about trying to make that three and a half minutes of magic. If that don't come, I'm going back home. Depressed. <laughs> hey, I'm good. I'm secure, blood. <laughs> Hold on to your hats. Here comes the big drop. I love my hair. <laughs> you were warned, Julissa. Faisal, you better give me your hat. Seriously? Yeah. With hat hair needing hiding, Julissa's forced to replace her expensive one for one from the souvenir shop. Thank you. I'm upset. I'm just wearing a little bitch fit now. And as the afternoon draws to an end, Dap is still unhappy about losing precious studio time. Yeah, it was all right, man. Dap didn't go on any rides. It was good, man. I'm looking forward to go studio today. Wowza. Anyway, fuck him. I had a nice day. <laughs> it's been Talisa and Faisal. Cool. The next day, fights are forgotten, and they're off to write another new track with the second producer of the week. Today, they'll be writing with Jean Baptiste, who regularly works with the Black Eyed Peas and co wrote End Up Single Morning Star. Obviously, there's a comparison between the N-dubs and Black Eyed Peas, the, the female-male dynamic, uh, the pop aesthetic. So I definitely think the reason I'm here is to see if some of that thing that I bring to the Peas can be brought to N-dubs. It's a daunting task, but we'll succeed. Yo, yo. <laughs> what up, man? Yes. How you doing, man? Cousin. You guys want to grab a seat? Let's chat for a sec. What's the goal? What are we trying to do? We want a number one smash across the world. Woo! <laughs> do you know how we see it? <laughs> Three and a half minutes of magic, right? I think I think we can make that happen. Let's do it. Can we go to the studio? Yeah. Let's go. Not wanting the creative process to be disturbed by the cameras, the band insist on a closed studio. So we just filmed some basketball. Thought it looked quite nice. After a long day of writing and recording, the pressure of the trip has clearly got to a drained Dappy. Being away from home, that's the worst part of it, because 
I've got two kids. I'm trying to make a load of amount of money and loads of record sales so then they can live happily ever after. My mum can live happily ever after. I mean, there's a lot of depressing moments in this, in this shit. I can't lie to you, everyone thinks it's all fucking funny. It's not. I'm a happy person, so is my group, but you get me, everyone's got problems and everyone's got a life. Reality, mate. The next morning, the cameras are allowed back into the studio as Phaser lays down his vocals on the new track. Yo, no, you mother... <laughs> and after a good night's sleep, Dappy is back on form and focused. You see when you say, I mean, like, shit without you. Say the whole word, you. Don't worry about it, Debbie. I don't want a hundred thou, I want... I don't want a hundred thou, I want to... A million shit without you. A million shit without you. A million shit without you. Now ease into that guy. Don't just jump into to, 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 uh, Mr. Hyde. Give me a little Dr. Jekyll and then jump into Mr. Hyde. You get what I'm saying? Manager Rich has decided to give the head cam a go. Mm, it is his first time. You started to sound American a little bit. I don't want a hundred thousand, I want two. A million shit without you. They can give me all the money in the world, but I just want you to know I ain't shit without you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's how we do, that's how we roll it. That's the magic take, dude. That's the one. Come in, it works. I think this record's gonna really make an impact. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good. It's a feel-good record. Really good. That's, yeah, what, it is, that's what it's all about. Mr. Jean, to me, is the guy that's gonna cook something up. I just want you to blow up here. John Baptiste, obviously, he sold like 40 million records. He's an A-list serious producer, and he's just told the band that he really believes in them and that he thinks that they can actually really break America. Coming from someone like him, that's a massive thing to say, so really excited about that, that he actually believes and sees the vision for it. It's been a successful session, and with moods boosted by Baptiste, the boys take a break. But even when relaxing, it's all about the music as they perform one of their big hits. Remix! Cause I'm down here, caged in, burnt out, aching Seen it all before, done with all the heartbreaking Cause I'm fed up, lonely, no longer the old me Right now I could do with some company I need someone to hold my cold dear. You're taking too long, hurry up, come to the rescue Fly away with me and hold me I'll cherish you like a trophy If I don't know how to be, then show you Where are you down here? It's a no-go I can't keep on riding solo I don't wanna have to wait all my life when Nearly time for N dubs to head home, but before they do, to lead us off to Venice Beach. We come down here because I'm gonna go and see a fortune teller. I'm not gonna lie, I've been to a few before, um, which were all very good, so let's see if she's got skills. On her way to the tarot reading, Tulisa makes an interesting new friend. <laughs> Why are you frowning at me? Because it's fun. <laughs> Are you you're supposed to? You want to scare me though, right? I don't get scared. Venice Beach is mental. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You like a reading? My name's Talisa. Yeah, I'd love a reading. Okay, nice to meet you. you. So we're gonna do a tarot reading for you. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. You seem to be very spiritual, very mm -hmm. in tune, your own self. Mm-hmm. So you're a person that's young by numbers. 
but by mind and by spirit seems much older. And you are a person that doesn't like to be told what to do. This is a good year for you. Don't mm -hmm. blow it. Okay. So your relationship card is upside down. If you're careful, you'll be married once. Mm -hmm. If you do it spontaneously, you're going to be married twice. And I hope you like kids because you're meant to have a lot. <laughs> you could be pregnant multiple times, four, five, six times. You'll be six? Blimey. Before 30. Okay. Tulisa has been away from the UK for three weeks, and there is someone back home who's always on her mind. How's my mom? Her energy is a little low. Sometimes you're like the mom and she's like the daughter. So I'm going to say something rude. She might be a little needy in her own way. Mm -hmm. Has there been some issues? She's mentally ill. Right now, she's okay. God forbid I don't see anything tragic. Satisfied? Yeah. Good. Good luck. Thank God you bless. very much. God bless. You're welcome. Lisa leaves with the promise of success, money, and a rather large family ahead of her. I mean, she was good. She got some things on point. Um, like when she talked about career, and she said, like, whatever you've moved into is going to take about a year to kick in. That sounds about right with America. As it's their last day in LA, Faser has decided to ditch Daffy in the studio and join Tulisa to grab some final rays of Californian sunshine. Faser. Yeah. Look where we are. What? We're in the Baywatch scene. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Do David, go on quickly. He's not allowed up there, so he's being naughty. David, somebody's drowning, <laughs> quick! Ah! That's the Pammy one. And then zoom, <laughs> zoom. Baywatch? Surely you're both too young to remember that. <laughs> It's been a successful couple of weeks, and Tulisa and Faisa reminisce about their time in America. It's given me the inspiration and the kick to make me say, I want this. I like the opportunity out here to meet a lot of people that have done big things out here, and it, and it gives you great opportunity to move on to bigger things as well, because you are the company you keep. At the end of the day, it's been a productive trip, and I think we've got a bit more of a plan of action when it comes to finding the hit. Imagine if you was driving, right, and all of a sudden you just heard our song come on the radio on Hot 97. Woo! Oh my God, that would be sick. Next time, N-Dubs are back in London and on the promotional trail for their first ever UK arena tour. You look scared, Lisa. I am scared. I'm mean, just like, I'm, I just can't believe it. This has not been my dream since I was a kid. O2 Arena, 30th of April. We beg you guys to be there. Come on my tour bus, yeah? We call, we call it the, the, 